Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna look at some tips for making big money on Fiverr as a copywriter. You guys have heard from me ad nauseum, which is why in this video, I'm actually gonna hand the mic over to Michael Nardi, who is also an accomplished copywriter and freelance writer on Fiverr.com. He's gonna share with you guys his top three tips for how he's been able to scale his business, make more money, and take his freelance copywriting business on the road with him. Let's hear from Mike. Side note, I've chatted with Mike personally. He's a great guy and I'm really excited to hear about his journey with copywriting and freelance writing because no two journeys are the same and the world of freelancing is huge. So the way that I've done it, the way that I've scaled my business is personal to me and I'm really excited to hear about how he's done it. It should give you guys a view of a different way to go about this so you understand that there's multiple, multiple routes to arriving at the same location. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Mike Nardi here. Super excited to be featured featured on Alex's channel and here are my three tips for Fiverr copywriters and Fiverr sellers in general to help you get set up for success and make money selling on the Fiverr platform. My first tip is a tip that you need to apply before you start selling on Fiverr and that tip, tip number one, is to figure out what you're good at and what you can do that will bring value to other people. So this is something I talk about a lot on my channel, value. A lot of Fiverr sellers have it in their head that you're gonna create a Fiverr profile, create a gig, and the money's just gonna start rolling in. You know, that might be the case, but the reason and the things you can do to make that happen is by offering value. Money is just an exchange of value. People are gonna pay you on Fiverr because you're doing something that is worth paying for. So before you get started and before you create your gig and sink all these hours into creating a great gig, great picture, great profile, sit down and think about the things that you're good at or things that you are willing to get good at that will offer value to people. If you can ident identify things that will offer value to people, you're going to have a much easier time selling and making money as a Fiverr seller. Tip number two, and this is a tip that comes from my experience growing my copywriting business on Fiverr, is to start with one gig. Specialize in one thing, grow that gig so you're getting a ton of reviews and recognition and building a brand on Fiverr, and then branch out to multiple gigs. The reason I say this is I, I, I hear from a lot of new Fiverr sellers who are like, hey Mike, I created six Fiverr gigs and they're not selling. You know, I, I'm a big advocate of the mindset of doing one thing really well is more important than doing six things not so well. So if you're new to Fiverr, and you're new to learning things that you can do to offer value to people online, start with one thing. Become the master of that one thing. And then once you've grown that one thing, that one gig to a point where it's bringing you in money consistently, think of ways that you can branch out to similar types of gigs. So I'll give you an example. In my Fiverr business, I started selling sales and marketing emails. General, sales and marketing emails. I did that for probably about a year before I created my second gig. I got tens, dozens, you know, 30, 40, 50 reviews Views, and then I started to think, okay, I've kind of mastered this. I know how to sell to this type of buyer. I want to start offering different services. So from there, I branched out into LinkedIn connection requests and follow-up messages. Very similar to writing emails, but it targeted a very distinct and different prospective buyer base. So that's how I did it. I focused on one gig sales and email marketing emails, and then I branched out other related types of copywriting gigs. What this did was it allowed me to build a name for myself on Fiverr with my main gig and then branch out to other gigs. Now, if you look at my profile, I think I have over 10 gigs and um, the business I'm getting from my main gig that I spent the time to build up is trickling down to those other gigs. You know, some of my clients, a lot of my clients are repeat clients. They see the other services I've started to offer and they already have the trust in me to buy those services. So that's tip number two. Start with one gig, become the master of that gig, and then branch out to other services on the platform. My third tip has to do with doing all of the right things as a seller to look as good as possible in Fiverr's eyes. And what I mean by this is deliver your orders on time, strive to get five-star ratings through offering exceptional quality of work and deliver top-notch customer service. The reality of Fiverr is Fiverr is a business and they're trying to make money. Fiverr makes money from having sellers sell services to buyers. Fiverr makes more money if sellers do a great job and the buyers want to keep buying services from Fiverr. So with this in mind, you need to do and focus on doing things everything in your power to be as squeaky clean, as great, as top rated as possible. Don't deliver orders late, it's gonna hurt your, your gig ranking. Don't deliver rushed, you know, poor quality work, 
it's gonna hurt your Fiverr gig ratings and that's gonna hurt your ranking. Provide excellent customer service. You know, Fiverr doesn't just rate you based on your whether you have a five-star rating. They actually send surveys to buyers via email to get a pulse on how effective and how good it was to work with that seller. So all of these things influence how Fiverr views you as a seller on the platform. And as sellers, we want the, the gravy train to keep growing, right? So we need to do everything in our power to make sure there's no reason for Fiverr to rank us down or think that we're not the best sellers. So that's tip number three. Do everything you can do to get the highest ratings on Fiverr and to leave the best possible impression with your buyers after they've worked with you. All right, guys, those are my three tips. Alex, thank you so much for featuring me on your channel. Uh, I was really excited to do this. You're crushing it. Everyone, make sure you're subscribing to Alex's channel. She's awesome and she's doing great things here on YouTube. Take care. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I definitely learned a few new things about freelance writing. Just when I think I know everything, after six years, I definitely don't. I really enjoy hearing from other people about how they've done this. I always take something away from it. You know, I know for me right now, I'm expanding off of Fiverr, even getting my leads through email and LinkedIn automation. So hearing Mike's perspective on how he's been able to do it was super, super cool. And I hope you guys loved it. As always, guys, don't forget to click below to subscribe. And also don't forget to subscribe to Mike Nardi's channel. Both he and I have way, way more collaborative content that's coming your way. So stay tuned guys. Uh, tune in next time. I always have some fresh content coming your way and I hope you guys loved the new lighting and um, technology that was used in this video because you guys know I am not tech savvy. So I hope you guys loved it and uh, see you guys next time.